welcome to stringsavvy.com violin lesson number 10. In lesson number 9, we went over half notes, first and second endings, as well as left hand pizzicato. With the left hand pizzicato in Texas two string on lesson number 9, we talked about plucking with your fourth finger and using a curled shape. So hopefully that helped you learn a good shape for your fourth finger as well as build some strength in that finger. It's very important to keep all our fingers curled while playing as this will aid in both accuracy and agility. So now let's go ahead and learn how to use the fourth finger in our playing. Start first by practicing setting the fourth finger down correctly. If it collapses then you may need to check out your angle of attack. Simply to play around with your hand and find a way where you can get your fingers to curl. Your fingers should maintain their hook shape and turn from the base knuckle of your hand like how a door swings from a hinge. Once we've practiced setting our fourth finger down in proper form, now let's actually try and find the pitch. First start by playing your open A. Now you're going to add your fourth finger to the D string. If you have a don't fret or you've had a local teacher set down tapes for you, this will probably make this a whole lot easier. If not, you're just going to have to learn by ear. So using your fourth finger, check against your A string now. Now I'm just a tiny bit flat, I can hear, so I'm going to make just a tiny adjustment coming up sharp, which is closer to the bridge. To get that note. Now if you're too high or too sharp, you can hear how the note is higher when I have played the fourth finger. You want to move your finger closer to the bridge or make it flatter. So you hit the right note. In which case you're going to reset the note a couple times. To make sure you really are setting that finger down in the exact same spot each time. If you're too flat, which means you're lower than the right note, then bring the note up sharp by moving it higher, closer to the bridge. Always in small adjustments. This time I went too high. So I'm going to reset it again. And double check to make sure I'm in the right spot again. It should sound like one note when you are in tune. Now if you are having trouble trying to play both your fourth finger A and your open A at the same time, take a look at your fingers. They might be muting the A string. And that could be from your angle of your elbow being too far to one side. But if you move your elbow in a different direction, bring it closer around, further around this way, you actually will create room and possibly even uh, help shape your pinky. But this will create a tunnel which will allow your A string to vibrate soundly. If you don't have that tunnel, you get squeaks and squeals that are less than pleasant. So move your elbow out to eliminate that. With number 83, 4x4, four you should try to play this alternating your A's between fourth finger and open. That way you can check to see if you're in tune. So we have 83, and tune are there. If I play them together, creates a not so pleasant sound. So let's adjust our fourth finger to the R tune. And that's the idea for 83. Looking at 86, O to Joy, here's a demonstration of how it's played. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate number 86, Ode to Joy, for you. 